Okay, I'm gonna be using all of the event titans in toilet tower defense, but before we get into the video, like and subscribe, or else that's gonna happen. <laughs> Why do you fall? Anyways, there are a lot of event titans. Like, there's this new one, the Titan Clover Man, which right now only 6,000 exists. It is pretty rare. And there's also the Titan Present Man, which a million exists, and it's a godly. Then in the Christmas event, there was the Sinister Titan TV Man also. None of the other titans were really part of an event, so I can turn this into an actual strategy. I'm also gonna equip Santa. TV man and green laser cameraman. So now I have all three event titans and two other units because there are only three event titans and we'll see how good of a strategy this is. So of course I gotta start out with the Santa TV man placement. And in this update we did just a couple days ago, there's an entire new map that is slightly larger and I'm gonna put these guys in funny places. So this one's actually gonna go on this side. Actually I'll put all of them on this side. Now I've got all three Santas down so I just gotta get the green laser cameraman. I'll put them right here and start upgrading the Santas. On wave 20, I got all the Santa TV men maxed out, and the Green Laser Cameraman's also maxed out. There's a Mutant Toilet 2.0, which is the perfect time for me to put the first Titan down, the Titan Present Man, and I'll actually put him, he has pretty good range. I'll put him, like, up here, because I want to save this area for the Lucky Block men, so I can put Lucky Blocks on the entire area. So this guy starts out doing 3,000 DPS. We'll see if it's enough to get the Mutant Toilet 2.0, because I'm not too sure. I'm gonna skip, though, so we can get the 5,000 upgrade, and now the Titan Present Man does AK DPS, that should definitely be enough. The Titan Present Man isn't doing that much damage because he's super expensive to upgrade, so for now, I think I'll actually just put the Titan Clover Man. I really want to get those lucky blocks. He's starting to place them, and I'm gonna skip and upgrade him as much as I can. All right, there are all the upgrades except for the 17k one, but this is definitely gonna help a lot more than the Titan Present Man because he's essentially doing damage to them right now by placing the lucky blocks, and they're not even over here yet. Also, if you did not get him because he's super rare, we'll add more units like that soon. That have cool abilities and are a bit more common. Anyways, the toilets are hitting the first lucky block and they're not making it far at all. They just look at these guys. Boom. None of them made it past. I'm about to get that 17k upgrade. Okay, here's the 17k upgrade. So now you can put another two lucky blocks down and that made the base health go to 150k. I still have not seen the black lucky block get placed yet because it is really rare, but we'll probably see it soon because I'm going to turn auto skip on. Well, since I have that guy, I might as well also put a sinister titan tv man i think we can fit one around here yeah i'm gonna put him down right here we should be able to fit another clover man yeah there we go i'm actually gonna put this clover man up here for now i want him to be able to place a lot of lucky blocks everywhere but let's max out this sinister titan tv man because he does splash damage and aoe damage so he's pretty useful even though he doesn't do well actually he does a pretty good amount of dps i think so there's the 12k upgrade let's see how far the dual flying buzzsaw toilet can get. He has 600k health. It's already down to 450k by the time he's hitting the lucky blocks and yeah, he is he is not making it. He's already dead. I have all three event titans down right now. We are definitely cooking. There's a 14k upgrade. Only one more to max out the Sinister Titan TV, man. Finally, some of the lucky blocks might take damage because there are two buzzsaw mutant toilets inbound. Oh, there goes one. And the 18k upgrade. Never mind, he's stunned. There we go. Now I can focus on upgrading this guy. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna stop auto skipping for now. I'm gonna stop auto skipping for now. That's a lot of toilets. They're definitely gonna make it at least a bit into the lucky blocks. Wait, I think this is where I like lost the last video because I also auto skipped to this wave and didn't realize how many there were. But this time we have three titans, so I think we're chilling. Yeah, there we go. You put the strong lucky block and that's just two welder toilets. Bro, that welder toilet's essentially using the other one as a shield. <laughs> Finally, I got enough to max out the second titan clover, man. Now we have lucky blocks covering pretty much the entire front. I'm gonna turn auto skip back on because I, I think we're good. I think we're good actually. I'm gonna put this guy right here too. I don't have any booster units. Maybe since I already have slow units, I could have replaced the green laser cameraman with like the DJ TV man or something. But I mean, these guys are far apart, so that wouldn't help too much anyways. I auto skipped like two waves. Let's see if that was a bad idea because there are a lot of high health toilets incoming. They're breaking most of my lucky block defenses, but they are still not strong enough. Oh wait, there's the fortified lucky block. Let's go the black lucky block. It's gonna kill a lot of the toilets. Oh, that only got like three. Well, we saw it, but it did not really help too much. I'm gonna have to skip. I need 17.7k so I can get the final upgrade. Come on, we're about to get it. And there we go. I think we'll barely be able to get these guys. No way. Uh-oh, 400k, 300k. Only those two are gonna be able to attack there. Uh, I'll put a green laser man in the middle right here. That'll slow them down a little bit. I might actually need to skip again so I can max out this guy. Come on, come on. Get 
get him. Do the thing. Yeah, that one has 701k health. I don't know if we can get him. I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if it's actually possible. It might not be possible. I think we might not be cooking. We might not be cooking. 137k. 137k. Just that one getting passed, and we lost. Oh, if I didn't auto skip, that could have gone for a lot longer. I also probably shouldn't have put a Titan present, man, because those guys aren't really too insane. They used to be way too overpowered, and then I nerfed them a little bit. And they were good at the time, but now they're better options because at the time we didn't really have too many unique attacks. If I only put Titan Lucky Block, man, maybe, maybe we could have gotten them or Titan Clover, man. The older units in the game aren't really that good. Like the older Mythics, especially like Corrupted Care, man, that was the best unit at the time, but now Mythics really only go up to like 60k DPS while this one's 65k. But ever since then, we had like Godlies and higher than that. So there is again going to be a Godly in the Easter event. It is going to be really, really good. There's a lot of detail put into it and a lot of particle effects, and I think it's going to be really fire. It definitely deserves to be the third godly in the game, but we're still working on the Easter event. I made a lot of the UI today. I'd say, like, we're halfway done scripting, halfway done with the UI, and I also would like to announce that we are in the hunt event on Roblox. There's, like, a new event coming up called the hunt. Roblox egg hunts finally seem to be back. There wasn't too much time to prepare, so the event isn't going to be anything massive in our game, but we put together a pretty decent quest. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. We're also putting together an event pass and some other stuff using the feedback on the Christmas event pass so that this time hopefully it's better and we don't have one million of a godly, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to finish the rest of the UI for the event and all the graphics and stuff will be ready. Also, all the models for our event are like 90 something percent done like this is gonna be a pretty big event in toilet tower defense the roblox event will just be kind of a small part of it but there will be a lot more to it than that but i hope you guys will enjoy it so as always like subscribe thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all in the next video